Alright, so this is Hunter from Wisconsin Evolution. Um, today I have the Geo 3.1 and I'm going to do a quick review about it. Um, I played a tournament with this thing. Um, I played quite a few games with it. And just hands down, if you own any Plan Eclipse marker, you, this will, you'll be happy with this marker. It's, it's just completely awesome. In case it comes in, um, there goes the barrels. But they weren't in place. Anyways, case, aluminum cover, um, very, very protected. Then you have this uh, pre-cut foam, great. So, case, awesome, just completely awesome. Better than a lot of the cases out there, such as the Die DM. Um, Vanquish, that one's just like a plush case. Um, only thing I can think of is as good or better is the Lux case. Um, that's just what comes to mind. Um, so here we go. Here's the Geo 3.1 manual. Full color. I mean, it shows you every single detail, what Allen key, what... It circles literally everything. Anything that you ever want to do in this marker, um, if you have a problem with it, there's phone numbers on the back. It's not like it's on a disc, um, such as the Axe, Vanquish, um, Empire markers. A couple of the older markers, um, if I can get to it here, it shows you a diagram of every single part, just, that, that's just a huge plus, it's just awesome, it tells you all the screws that you have, the description of the screws, and this is an actual chart, so if you, if you break an o-ring and you can get it to that close size, or you can look at the number and where it was at, you can tell which one is in, you're not second guessing, so that is thumbs up. Great idea. Thank you, Planet, for that great idea. Um, barrel cover it comes with is very nice. It's definitely a really good barrel cover. Um, I don't have it with me at the moment, but it, it's a really nice barrel cover. Here we have the two-piece barrel. Oh, also, if you guys get any, I don't care what marker, any new marker, whether it's a one-piece or two-piece, and that squeals, which I guarantee it will if it's a new marker. Just put some lube on each side and inside the marker here. It will not do it again. And it just, it saves the threads on your barrel. It's just great. So the barrel that it comes with is a 689 barrel back. And then I believe it's a 14. Yeah, it's a 14 or 16 inch. I'm guessing it's a 14 inch. Not 100% sure. Um, it's threaded differently than what you're used to. I think they call it backwards threading. So you can't go like this to tighten it because it will actually make it loose. So you have to go backwards and you have to do it like that. So whether or not that's a plus to you, minus, um, for me it doesn't matter. Um, barrel backs are about 50 bucks. And they come in a 685 and 681. If you'd like to buy those, I'm definitely going to buy those because this is definitely an awesome barrel. Looks great, by the way. Just looks awesome. Just the barrels that Planet Clips has are really nice. Comes with a thing of lube. Works. Works great. Definitely used it. Um, Allen key set. Great Allen key set. It's got a ball bearing. Or not ball bearing, but it's got that, uh, I'm trying to figure out what it's called. It's not like this end where is if you're actually off on a bit, you can actually just destroy your screws. But since it's got that type of like ball, it's got that ball type of style. So you can literally do this at, uh, at quite a few different angles. You won't wreck your screws. So that that's a major plus. Um, soft tip bolt. If you somehow manage to break paint, I haven't yet. Um, if you watch my maintenance video, you'll see that. I shot like three cases. I didn't break any paint. Um, if I somehow was breaking paint, you can switch to the soft tip bolt. Really easy to do. Really quite simple. Um, literally comes with a huge... Anything that breaks on this gun, this is your kit. And, and I mean, literally anything that breaks, except for the board. I, I don't expect them to give you a board or more grips or blah blah blah. So um, these are the back orange grips that I have right now. Uh, 
that's what it came with was the black one, so you can get an idea of what they what it looks like stock. But I put through on the orange ones. They look really nice. They're really bright. So if you're looking for what color to get, it they're bright colors. They're really nice colors that I saw. But our team's orange, so and they didn't come out with a 3.1 in orange. So I want that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now let's see what we can start at. Um, feed neck. Great, great feed neck. It's got a sprocket adjustment. Really easy, tighten, loosen, and then clamp. Easy, simple, no problems there. Um, everyone's got their own type of deal how they fix the feed neck. Um, really cool thing, I think a lot of markers have this, not sure though, but if you actually, um, with my rotor, you have to actually just make it higher just a little bit more, and then you can actually see the paint in there so you can tell if you have an actual jam from your hopper or um, if you broke paint, so forth. Very easy. Bolt, very, very simple design. Not, um, I won't pull it apart. If you want to see it in the maintenance video, go ahead. It's in there. Bolt, reliable, simple to maintain. It's probably one of the easiest things I've ever had to maintain. Um, I've had a reflex rail. Um, I've maintained an axe. I've maintained a mini. Um, I maintained a lot of markers, and this one's hands down is one of the simplest. It's very simple. It's very reliable, especially for a spool valve. So that's a plus. Um, another thing which you don't see is the solenoid adjustment. All it is is um, it's a little air basically. It's got a little hole full for air, and it tells the bolt whether to it'll cycle the bolt faster or slower. I have it on the smoothest shot. If you have it on the fastest shot, which is all the way positioned up. It'll cycle the bolt. It'll kick a little bit more. What I've noticed, I've tried to test it, and I didn't notice too much of a difference. A little bit. Um, it was. It's a nice option though, because you can change it to the smoothest shot, or if you're shoot, trying to shoot like 30 bps, you can throw it up there, and then you have you're able to do that. So great. Uh, next thing, trigger. Trigger is just amazing. I love this trigger. Um, I personally am a huge fan of this trigger. And the only thing that beats this type of trigger is the Lux trigger to me. I have shot a Lux. Um, I find the Lux to be a little bit smoother in these, but I've in the tournament I did see one go down. Um, that's just what I found. But this marker just completely awesome. I've shot tons of markers, and I can definitely say that this is the most reliable out of all of them that I found. If you want to argue with me, post down in the comments. Love to see why you think your what uh, whatever marker you shoot or markers that you have shot are better. Um, a lot of things on this marker that need to be improved, I think. Um, to me, this this is awesome. A lot of people are like, oh, that's a dumb idea. Why would you want that? But for me, this is how it traditionally works on an axe, minis, um, premium markers, so forth. Is it actually just goes straight through the grip frame here and goes through the rag. Uh, I have a problem with that because if you actually twist the grip frame, it's possible. O-rings, they, they just sit, the O-rings sit right on top of each other. And then when you twist the grip frame, they move. You have an air leak inside your marker. I really wanted to avoid that. So um, this is... This is really simple. If you take off the grips here, it literally leads right up the grip frame right here, goes through here, and it's right into the rig. Um, very, very easy design, very good idea. Any way that you hold this, it it really doesn't matter. It, it feels great. These grips are amazing. So um, I think that's a great idea. A lot of people aren't going to be too happy with it, but it's just a thing I like. Um, and plus, if you don't want, if you're angry about new features and stuff, then you're never going to see anything new. You're going to see the die DM like they do every year for the past, like the oh god years. They really haven't done anything. The only newest thing that they've done, even on their anniversary edition, is they've given you a couple extra things, nothing much. So the Geo actually delivers. They did something different. They put on grips. They did milling. They did something a lot more 
than what a lot of other companies are doing. So um, OLED board, just double click. You know, there's other ways to turn on, but it's just simple. I got the green background right now. So it, it's just, this is an awesome marker. You got your time. This was a huge deal for me. Time, that, that, was, that was awesome. Because we actually don't have a scoreboard at the tournament, and I can't tell you how many times that saved me. Um, literally, no one knew the time. You had to yell for a ref for a time. 30 seconds are left. I, I looked down at my marker, said 30 seconds are left, and I, I was able to grab the flag and run. If I would have known the time, we would have either lost or tied the point, but because of that, I won it. And that actually does come on, if you get like the red line board, um, there's a lot of different ways that you can get it. And it's just, that, that's an awesome feature for me. A lot of people are, probably won't think it's cool. But for me, there's a lot of modes on here. You have the opto and you have the switch for the trigger. So it's either the switch, you can hear it, it's like a little bit of clicking, that's what's in most markers. Or you have the um, opto, where it's just kind of like a laser beam, and when it senses the lens, the laser's broken, it basically works like eyes. Once it's broken, it uh, registers that trigger pull. So that's very quite simple. Awesome, lots of stuff on this thing. Uh, a couple of things that need to be fixed on this that should be fixed is bolt. Is they should have a quick release bolt. That's that's one of the only things I can see wrong with this marker. That uh, that for me is huge. That's just nice. This best best invention ever. Off, on. Literally, you push this button down, and you throw it up. Push it down, throw it up. On. It just very simple. Trigger pulls. Er everything on this marker is awesome. So if you'd like to see the difference between all the other geos and DMs and why you should buy this marker or another marker will be in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm number 24 Hunter from Wisconsin Evolution. Out.